What's the freakiest thing you've done in a relationship? That's to you first. I didn't have my nails on. Let's get this out of the way first. Don't say no more. <laughs> we got you. I put my finger up a guy's <laughs> wife and that. That's mad still. Why, why'd you do that though? Like what? what? You know what? <laughs> Big man thing, yeah. It's Castillo, aka your baby mum's favourite, aka say something out now on all digital platforms, bruv. Welcome to Cuffin Season. Now, Cuffin Season is a show where artists and influencers have the choice of free mystery dates, bruv. And the only thing they're gonna know about each other is their playlist, bruv. You ain't seen nothing like this. Welcome to Cuffin Season, bruv. Big man ting. Hello, hello, hello. Yo, one grand. I'm good, how are you? Now, you know you're the first girl that's come on this thing. I like to take control, so the that's first. what I'm leading with. I'm gonna take it, and I like to be first, so. Don't know, don't know. Now, listen, yeah? I know you're a big star right now, you get me, but to the people them that don't know, tell them what you do. I'm a freelance creative, that's the best way I can describe it, because there's mm. so many other things that come underneath it, but like a freelance content creator, so mm. presenting, hosting, TikTok, Instagram. So you got bare peas in that, yeah? You don't want to let I'm H comfortable, do you know what I mean? I'm going to say that. You don't want to let HMRC know the thing, I, I get you. Yeah, Come thank on, you very mindset. much. How many TikTok videos I've had to delete and be like, oh, sheesh. Yeah. So, listen, yeah, now I'm looking at you, I'm going to be real. Do you like gal or do you like man them? I'm, I get I'm, this My mind is getting thrown off right time. now, I'm not going to lie. I get this all the time. Uh, apparently, I give off gay vibes. Yeah, big man thing, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm just saying. Okay, Shout okay. Out to the let, me, let me tell people, you this, yeah, let me tell you this. Castillo, look at my nails and tell me, could I ever put my hand in a... You could do, you know. Some girl ah. like that, you know. I know some freaky yeah, girl. Yeah, that's wild. So when it comes to men, what kind of men do you like? Uh, if I've got a pinpoint on one type, uh, I like guys that look malnourished with tattoos. Like homeless men? No, not homeless. They can't look raggedy, mm. but like they just can't have too much meat on their bones. Why, why is that? that that's a bit Because uh, I can feed them. Oh, so you, you know want I mean? so to feed them? It's and, like a charity project. But then what if they get like a pot belly in that? Oh like, yeah, they know you got to go. So you want them you to stay Margot? Yeah, kind of. Like, mm. just put a bit of meat on, like, but like, I don't know what it is. I like skinny guys with tattoos. Mm. Maybe it's because I'm a skinny girl with tattoos. So have you ever been with a girl? I'm just getting into the girl. I've kissed river. girls. I've had a threesome mm. and there was a girl involved. But Yo, what is that like though? I got really awkward because I'm not into girls in it. So like, there was a uh, moment where she was like giving me head and I was just like. She's giving you head? Yo. I was like, mate, she was like, are you having fun? I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I want to go home, please. Yo, that's a mad Because you know this threesome thing, yeah? I'm trying to get involved in that, yeah? But I was seeing this thing. She was she was a bisexual thing. And then the thing she tried to bring forward, bruv. She, the thing looked like Big Vis from WWE, bruv. The thing was mad sloppy with it, bruv. I was like, yo. Yeah, because if she's bi, she probably like, it's like a masculine looking girl, innit? Yeah, so, the thing was looking so. a bit, I don't know, bruv. And I was like, that can't go on my CV, you get me? Like, <laughs> just, like, I'm not adding it to my calibre. Yeah, that can't be on my record, you get me? That's a bit mad, bruv. I can't have a Big Vis be talking like <laughs> they had their way with me in that, you get me? That's a bit mad still. Would you ever do that again? Well, I have a threesome. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like I'd want a threesome with two guys and getting two guys to agree Mad to thing. do that. It's just a bit two wild. Men. And also, is that a threesome or is that just like... But like, what if during like the threesome with the two men, they got a bit zesty with it and next thing, they start doing some sword fighting thing. Would you feel weird? I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I feel like, I feel like I would feel very empowered as a woman. You'd feel them... Because I'd feel like I'm like, yeah, I got these two men f***ing each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would feel good. It boosts my ego. Would you, would you find that mad if you were seeing a man and he was like, yo, man bust it open for a few men still, you open the bussy, bruv, like, would you find that a bit mad? Or would you be like, yo, I do don't your think thing, I would. Cause... I don't think I would, I'd, I'd say do your thing, but not with me. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, do your thing, but you're not going to be my partner. Like, ah. I don't think I would be, I'm a, quite a jealous person to begin with, so if I was then dating someone who's bisexual, that's fucking long, because mm. who am I actually worried about you looking at? Do you know what I mean? Yo, but now... We're gonna get we're gonna get to the nitty gritty, like you get me. I'm gonna read out some playlists for you, and I okay, want you cool. to make your decision on the guy based on the playlist. You get let's me? Let's go. So let's get this going. First playlist I'm gonna go to is Calendar by Nines. Okay. Healing by T on Wayne. Okay. In a minute by Little Baby. I feel like they're all very recent. I don't have an issue. I like all of those songs, but mm. they're all like very recent songs. Do you know what I mean, I feel like this is the person who might have gotten fixated on them as they've come out and just constantly listened to them. Recently. So this one's playlist B, yeah? So first track, Limbo by Daddy Yankee. Second track, Moscow Mule by Bad Bunny. I love Bad Bunny. And the third track on there is La Bachata by Manuel 
Turizo. So you look the bilingual change, it, man. It's come coming on. out, it's coming out. Come on, what do you think of that hand language as well. I'm going to go that with this person but likes to probably dance a bit more in emotive than anyone else. Third playlist, playlist C, Pitch Black by Chris Brown. Second track, For Tonight by Givion. I think that's how I say his name, bruv. Third track, Massive by Drake. What do you think about that one? They sound like a bit of a pussy. Mm. Like they're in their fields. I, mean, if, mm, I don't even listen to music that soft, so that's a no-go that. from He's me. sensitive, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're not feeling that, so. No, because like, if I get into a fight, are you going to back me or are you going to lose? That's kind of what I'm getting from it, do you know what I mean? I just feel like they wouldn't be able to hold down there. Mm, I like that. So then, which playlist are you going to go for? It's between one and two, but I feel like because of the fact that the first one is strictly like very recent music, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with number two. So you're going to go with playlist B? Playlist B. I'm Big pushing man. my answer in. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm going with. Big Man Ting. So, I'm going to bring your date out right now. Okay. So, Big Man Ting, can Diego come through? Hello. Hello. You want to stand up? <laughs> that was the rudest thing you could possibly say. Are you going to stand up? I offered Hello, you. how are I you? Asked you? Thank you. Big I'm amazing. I'm happy to be alive. What's up, what's up? Come on, what got my brother? Chill it, man. Yeah, I'm liking his. Firm griff as well, baby. You get me. I What's just your got instructed to. He's got a stain on his top. Big man, are you trying to mess up the man's sauce like that, bro? Who, no, 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 no. Because who were you hugging before you came to the date? Who's wearing, like? Oh, do you know what? Charcoal kind of, black foundation. It might be mascara. Mmm. So, first impressions on looks. What are we saying? I already uh, mentioned that you have a stain on your top, so you could go now. So instead of judging my face, you want to just. It's all right. I'm a. I'm. I'm a. Optimistic guy, I can appreciate a good looking girl. She has good attributes and she's aesthetically pleasing, but you know, it would be good to, good to rip in a bit further and, mm. and see what we can explore. So big man ting here, Claudio, what was your first impression of Diego when he walked out? Okay, my first impression of Diego when he walked out, he's a very attractive man, he's a very good looking man. Not necessarily my type, because obviously I told you my type is like malnourished looking men with tattoos, but he also looks and gives off the vibe that he knows he's good looking, do you know what I mean? How about yourself? That is you? such a very, it's such an eloquent answer, isn't it? It's like, I'm a... Da, 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 da. You have beautiful hair. That is the mm. first thing that I noticed. You have really nice hair. Big and man. you have nice hands. Big man thing. You're doing thing. Bro, I'm not going to lie. You look like you clean up with a girl then, bro. You're getting <laughs> a lot of nani out here, bro. What, what are we saying? Nah, I'm busy working, bro. Busy mm, working. Working on a nan bread. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Something like that, Let me. He's not going to be honest. Do you think he gets a lot of nan bread out here? I've, I'm going to say that you get more than your average man. Mm. I mean, if that's based on looks, I'm, I would say I'm way above your average man. Like, the word average doesn't even come in my vocabulary, but... That's very, very, very cocky. I wouldn't say cocky. Are I you going to go with confidence? I think I know... Not that. I think I know my self-worth. Like, confidence and cocky, is, it depends on what level you're at. If you're an average man, like a level-valued man, and you, your, like, mentality is up here, that's cocky. But if you're a high-value man, and you're really out here, and no, you're super so one sec, one sec, before you get justified. into this thing, I'm going to leave you two to get into it, baby. Get okay. Because I feel oh, the vibes. Started a discussion <laughs> I feel the now. vibes is getting in there. You know what I'm saying? I do agree with that, but still. I feel like the statement in itself saying that you don't even know the word average it can mm. come across as quite cocky. I'm not saying that the, the mental approach you're having towards yeah. it is cocky. I'm saying that you being like, oh, I don't even know the word average, that's cocky. So, Diego, what was your first impressions of Claudia when you first saw her? She's not my type, like. Literally, I feel like everyone has a type. As I said, I'm a world-traveled and cultured man, so I can appreciate a good-looking girl. She's got something going on there. I can see why, why Amanda would be there and thereabouts, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me, I'm going to do that thing where it's like, tell me uh, two truths and a lie. We'll go with work and life related. Okay. My job is essentially to approach, talk to, and interact with females on the street. That sounds homeless still. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Perfect. See, we can play these games. It's all right. I got a stain on my T-shirt. Your skin tone suits silver jewelry and you're wearing gold. But it's all right. We can... I'm allergic to silver. So if you actually have a problem <laughs> with my allergy, then say that. Like, I got you. I got, I got plugs that can sort out for you. What, a GP? You've got a plug <laughs> for a GP. Obviously, yeah, the man am I out here. If you who ain't got a GP plug, you ain't got a GP plug. 
I, got I don't even have a British passport. I'm going to that. What's going on, bro? Call the immigration, bro. What's going on? Hey, I could leave the country. It's not even British, though. So people look at it and they don't leave us a passport. Oh, we got... Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Obviously, I, it's cutting season for me, so... I don't give a, I'm not going to put myself to shame. I I'm going to eat. All right. Uh, We're doing a lot of, an awful lot of talking about me. I want you to tell me something that I wouldn't expect of you. Okay. <laughs> that was the, my diversions <laughs> are immaculate. You like, I don't want to talk about myself anymore. And I know you like to talk about uh, yourself, I, so I, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the attention time. horse. I will talk your ear off. Okay, for admitting the thing, bro. Some girl like to lie. Um, I, I wouldn't expect of you, okay. me personally. Okay, when I was born, I was in the newspaper, right? My mum told me for being the prettiest baby in the hospital. But I have <laughs> later actually found the newspaper article, like two years ago. And I was in the newspaper for being the hairiest baby. Right. I had a full head of hair before any other baby. And my mum was just like, yeah, no, it's because you were the most beautiful. I was like, no, it fuck it wasn't. I tell you what, your mum's a good mum now. Shout out to the mum. You can't tell a, a newborn baby that she's hairy. Like. I wouldn't fucking understand anyways. No, but it's nice for your mum Yeah, but she kept that lie going for a while. Yeah, I can see the confidence hasn't, hasn't dropped down. Would no. you say, though, that in talking to him, he seemed like he was very dominant? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say that the more I spoke to Diego, the more dominant he got, he got, which is something that I normally really appreciate because I'm quite a dominant person, so I need someone to put me in my place. But I feel like at times he was trying to put me in my place too much and it was just a bit like, are we beefing or are we having a mm. debate here? I want to know like, what, what you think, like, what kind of calibre you think you are in a, in a level of, let's call it one to ten. One to ten, oh, I hate rating myself. Um, can I do personality and looks? Can I do them no, separately? No, because... <laughs> <laughs> Can I do them separately? Because you're one of them girls that's going to go, my personality slaps and just, like, cover the fact that you don't... Oh, like... no, no, I'm still going to give myself good looks, but my personality is, like, a fucking right. 20 out of 10. Give me them, give me them separately. And so. my looks, I'll, on a good day, I'll give myself, like, a 8.89 out of 10. But if I've just rocked out of bed and I'm hungover, then I just drop into, like, a... 7.2. But obviously you're going to need to look good when you wake up from bed as well. Like It's not like it, you can't pick I, and choose when you... I, I see that you haven't got a lot of makeup on and I like I don't that. wear makeup. So, so none at all? Well, my eyebrows, I've got like... Right. No, that's something I appreciate a lot in a, in a girl. I like keep it on the terrace. Do you know what though? If I could Lynch wear makeup, I probably would. I just don't know how to put it on. I, I like the idea of like the transformation. Do you know I mean, like when girls do glow up videos, like my glow up videos, just my eyebrow was bushy and then my eyebrows smooth. Do you not see a like, problem with this makeup thing though? Like, girls are literally, like, physically, not even psychologically, physically covering up a person that they are. I say nothing's good in, too, in excess, right? The same way people are like, oh, body positivity or, like, looks, like, positivity in general about how you, your appearance. It's, in every aspect, it goes too far. You've got girls that are too skinny who are anorexic who will say body positivity, and I'm like, babes, you're ill. And then you've got the same with girls who are obviously obese or overweight and they'll be like body positivity and I'm like, but you're ill. That's, it's, it doesn't matter. You're not healthy. As long as you're not healthy, it's not good. And I think it kind of applies the same to when it comes to your looks. Like if you've got too much plastic surgery, it's just a bit like, well, what are you Whose doing? Whose fault do you think it is that that woman? Yeah, bro, shout out to you that funny that face girl, bro. Do you think it's the fault of female themselves or men? I think it's, I think it's a combination of men's expectations, women's kind of like... That doesn't make sense. Men's expectations. Men's expectations of what? Of women looking a certain way, like when it comes well, to beauty standards. I would say a very, very high percentage of men, if you asked all the men them out here, would you prefer a natural thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or hold a thing on, hold that's on. done mad But you would say, oh yeah, I prefer a natural thing, I believe but then I, I believe I was halfway Instagram through. I believe I was, I I was halfway through. I'm very passionate about this, sorry, God. I believe I was halfway through a sentence. Wow. If you ask bare man, what they preferred between a natural thing and a thing that was injected up and makeup on and that, I would go as far as saying above 80% of men would say that they prefer natural women. Throughout your date, I could tell you two was having a very heated discussion. Would you say though, that if you got in a relationship with her, you would be the dominant one? 100%, 100%. And she'd know it as well, but it, it's a thing. I know girls like, like Claudia. And when you're in public and when you're in like the public eye, there needs to be a certain type of persona, but her and I would both know who's behind the wheel and who's in control. But that's all right, you know, these things aren't important, these little details. It's, it's what's really going on. As long as both people know the pattern, it's cool. Also, hold on, you just said natural There's no girl, way you just girl. put your finger up at me I to show me. So you like a natural girl? I like a natural girl that knows how to take care of herself. Listen, girls exchange hard work for just, like, 
needles, innit? Mm. See, us, man, we're in the gym seven days a week mm -hmm. just to look good and eating good and all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said um, about, like, whose fault is it, right? And the point I was trying actually trying to make is, I hear it. I know a lot of men do prefer a natural girl. But as trends come around, you lots follow them the same way girls do. If it's trendy for a girl to have a BBL, man them all of a sudden like BBLs. And now... Now I have so many friends who like BBLs and now I go out, all of them are laughing at the girls with BBLs and they're like, oh, that's a BBL crusader. Because you can, you can tell who has a BBL. You so you've got tell... some BBL friends though. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, send yeah, you yeah. their number. I, I would fine. disagree with that. But I think the main fault is social media because people can compare too much, right? 100%. And the reason I don't conform to like a beauty standard or like, there's been times where I look at girls and I'm like, I want my ass to look like that. But right. say... But you say social media, but it's girls looking at other things, social media, yeah, where yeah, they're but, going, I want that as well. Yeah, but I'm you need to understand that I'm not looking at it and being like, oh, I want that because another woman has it. I want it because I can see that she's got it and the men are looking at her and being like, I want her. Do you think girls get the gaze stuff that you give into? for like, themselves? So themselves can be happy or do you think they get it for other people? I think a lot of, I'm not just going to say women because I feel like now men are getting like fucking surgery to get their legs longer, to get taller. And yeah, men stuff. are getting a Lithuanian yeah. leg lift. So, <laughs> what do you call it? The Lithuanian, Lithuanian leg lift. <laughs> so, <laughs> <it's a> <laughs> That's a triple L's, bro. It's a real thing, That sounds bro. like a next night crap that's dropping triple it's a, L's. It's a but thing, I feel bro. like when people get that stuff, they like to justify it and say they're doing it for themselves. But in reality, what it's come from is the pressure that society has put on them to the point that they don't feel comfortable within themselves. Right. So they are ultimately doing it for other people, but in the moment they're like oh, I'm doing it for me I'm doing it so I feel comfortable but it's like you would feel comfortable if you didn't let society make you feel a certain way I, I like the passion you in you. I, mean? I didn't really hear what you said, but I was, the passion about, in your voice is... I was just about to say, but I've just turned into a podcast thing, man. You <laughs> get me? I'm not going to lie. You're not getting deep with it. I'm trying to get to the real energy right now. So how are you two feeling each other's energy? Like, how's the connection? Because I'm not going to lie, from over there, it looks like you two want to smash. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll be real with you. A lot of men would be in a situation, like, talking with a girl. I've seen it before. My friends have talked to me. And they take, like, this is a bad sign when you're, like, talking to a girl and mm. you're disagreeing. As I just said to her, I like the... I like the passion. I like that she can stand up for herself. Listen, I'm, I'm there to stand up for her when I need to. But Big man thing. You're saying the right thing. Don't tell me to shush. <laughs> bev, the body count after this, they see this, Bev. It's going up, <laughs> It's going up, Bev. Come on, you're doing the right thing. So I got before I continue, I just got to give a shout out. How are you guys finding in the food? How are you lot finding it? Um, can you not see? I've been munching the yeah, whole time I'm talking. I'm just doing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout out to Mama's Blessings, bruv. Big man saying they provided the food and that. You get me? So shout out to them. You lot can get that. I'm going sorry, around. I'm cutting right now, but it looks amazing. You know what I'm saying? But are, you, are you on a low carb diet or something? You yeah, I'm, I'm just cutting right now. So mm. take Big man saying, see, it, looking it after does the body look delicious. You're making you it hard for me. Yo, so big man saying, I've got some questions for both of you lot, yeah? So you're going to answer it. Both of you lot can answer it, yeah? So. What's the freakiest thing you've done in a relationship? That's to you first. I didn't have my nails on. Let's get this out of the way first. We don't say no more. <laughs> we got you. I put my finger up a guy's <laughs> Why for that? That's mad still. Why, why'd you do that though? Like what? what? Do you know what? <laughs> you said, this why is going to sound that? so wild, but like I was giving him head and like my hand just slid under and like the more it slid it just went in so man just had some loose bar no no no, no 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 like i was examining here, the situation in it and like he just wasn't saying no like if anything his moans got louder the below my hand went so i was like okay this is where we're going with it what happened to this brother though like what's what's he what's he doing now for himself like i don't actually know but i hope he's well Big man thing, man. <laughs> Yo, he's good. He wouldn't be in your loose batty, cuz. You get me? Sort that out, cuz. Mad thing. Man's mad loose with it, man. So what was your thoughts on when Claudia said she puts her fingers in the man's body and that? Bro, again, I don't discriminate. She clearly likes a feminine guy. I feel like she's the kind of girl that's going to have feminine guys all her life until she meets the guy that can actually be with her. Because let's be real, no, no girl can maintain a relationship with a feminine guy. Like, you need a guy that brings masculine attributes to the table. So, what's the freakiest thing you've done? I've physically done to her or that's happened? Oh, that's just, happened, just that's happened. Say it. No, I'm a fan, I, I'm a fan of sex toys. Sex toys, um, oh, so, okay, big man I've got a nice collection of butt plugs. So, sorry, what, what do you mean, like? <laughs> that I use. On the gallium? Yes, sir. Big man thing. Okay, I just just needed to clarify, man. So what? It's like you just got in like like figurines, like the stuff. Obviously, stuff a couple different colors. Got nice little nice little shapes. So when you walked into the and shop, the girl, you know, it's, it's when you see the girl, you're like, what what can she like really take? Because I, I don't know. I'm a really hygienic man, and as much as like the thumb slip sometimes works, 
it's like I've had bad experiences there in the past, so, and it's like I just like to be clean. Man. So when the girl walks in and you just she just sees it stand like up there, like novels nah, the bottom and that. Drawer, bottom drawer. So you keep it in a drawer. Yeah. Mine have you? Have, no, let me ask so you. It's this. like multitasking. Missionary, left hand on her throat, right hand in a drawer. Take it out. I feel like I'm listening to a sex book. There, flip her over, bang, ring her belly up, and big man things. <laughs> Did you ask her permission before you do any of this thing? <laughs> now during the date. Diego mentioned butt plugs. What was your thoughts on that? I've never heard for a man to have a butt plug. It's usually the girl that has the butt plug and then ask the guy to swing it in. So I was a bit thrown off by that, but I will give, give it to him. That kind of show that he's quite open towards sexual experiences. And what I mentioned earlier is like, I appreciate someone who can be quite mature when, with their approach to sex, so. So next question. If you got caught by your mum and dad in the act, what would you do or say? My so mum and dad are very different people. My mum's super innocent and my dad's like, my dad gets it, innit? So if it was my dad, he'd just be like, he'd probably do something dumb. Like, try and, like, he tell me. the butt plugs, bruv. Like, <laughs> oh, nah, if it was my dad, it would just be a bob thing. He'd be like, ah. Oh. He'd walk Big. in, he'd be like, ah, oh, say nothing. Close Big the door, bust out. Big man ting. If it was my mum, I think my mum still thinks I'm a virgin, you know? Scheme. Yeah. That's, that's, that's good though, you're keeping your thing low key, bruv. You get yeah, me? Respect yeah, yeah. to the mums, you get me? Yeah. Shout out to the mums. Oh, How about man. yourself? Okay, uh, my dad passed, sadly passed away when I was younger, so that can't relate to that. Um, daddy issues. Um, but my <laughs> mother has actually walked in on me sucking dick before. Sorry? Oh, she went, she went. <laughs> like that, bro. She did Donald Duck thing saying, sorry, mum, bro. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yo, that's, this guy's sick. So what, what did your what did your mum say, bruv? Did, did she still keep you in the You didn't yard? say much, your fucking mouth was full, wasn't it? I didn't fucking say anything. I was under the covers, but I didn't know my ex just started like slapping me. He was like, Cut, yeah. So, so one so one sec, so when your mum walked in, he didn't even take the willy out of your mouth. Right? No, no, no. So my mum, my mum opened mom was about the to door, bust, right? Yo, my mum opened the door to give us food because she'd got us food. And I think she must have made eye contact with my ex. And like she just, I think she panicked and just closed the door. And then like five minutes, because obviously then I'd figured out what happened. So I stopped, I'd come out of the covers. I'm like fucking sitting there stressed. I'm like, oh, my mum knows I'm a whore. Um, Yo. And then <laughs> the door opens again, like five minutes later. And my mum's a G for this. She took the bag of food, put it down, kicked it with her foot and slammed the door again. I was like, I fucking love you right now. So Big she still gave me the food. Thing. She didn't judge me. She didn't judge me for it. What was your thoughts on when she said the thing about her mum catching her with the willy in the mouth? Bit wrecky. Bit recky, like, I like my girl a bit more. Not even, like, good, but a bit more sensible. So, big men think we're gonna cut right through, yeah? Okay. And we're gonna get to the, we're gonna get to the nitty gritty, yeah? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you both one of these. So, take one of these, take one, and you're gonna have a pen. So, what I want you lot to do is write down, don't show it to each other, write down lovers or friends. So, write that down, and don't show it to each other yet, just hold it there. So the first, when I count to three, you're not going to show it to the camera. Then I count to three again, then show it to me. And then you lot show it to each other. Yes, Kay. sir. Yeah? So big man team, are you guys ready? Yeah. Listo. Okay, so one, two, three. Show it to me on three. One, two, three. Now, on three, I want you lot to show it to each other. One. Two, three. Oh. Did you spell acquaintances wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big man I'm thing. dyslexic, bro. Yeah. I'm dyslexic, bro. Are you put I quant <laughs> what? A a quantum rhythm. Uh, <laughs> a quantum Aquentin That's not it. But you got the. You I got did it. get That's the gist, but like. So why, why did you choose cho both choose friends, by the way? I thought I, I didn't would choose friends. He What's chose acquaintances, he doesn't even classify me a the friend. The word friend is a big word. This is something I want to address very, very quickly. The, the friend word is Probably a big word. Friend you need to bring value, solid value to a person to be their friend. If, I, if we go out now on the street and someone robs me, are you banging them in their face? Yeah. For me? Yeah. If they have a gun? They won't have a gun here. If they have a knife, I might still get involved, but then Why be like... Why are you lying to? Okay, I've stopped a guy with a gun and a knife that no, tried to rob my phone. No, but for me, specifically. Are you gonna, he had not got a knife, he I, had a knife. There's a fed there and I've got a gram on me. I'm giving it to you. Are you taking it? Yeah, that's fine. I'm a white girl. I'll get away with that shit. Yo, this is brazy, bruv. You're this a pretty man. white girl that looks like a lesbian. <laughs> if you go pen, 
is, is peak for you. I have uh, <laughs> insanity on my record. Likewise, so like, if I go pen, I'm done for, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to get sentimental. I'm done out here, bro. Do you know I what? Going there. I just don't like the fact that I'm not even worthy of the friendship value. What, yeah. what value have you brought to my life as of yet? Big man thing. So, just Do you know what? I'm actually, no. Go it's on, going to acquaintances. I don't care. It's... Big man thing. Where you take them, bro? Yo, the big man thing. Change bro. it to colleagues. Love, love it's, it's not happening, bro. You get me? Sometimes it's not looking good, bro. It's, it's not, not looking, looking good, good. bruv. Yeah, so big man thing. They, we didn't get a match right now. Yeah, but I feel like these two, a podcast might happen. You get me, bro? So big man thing, cuffing season, bro. Now at the end, you chose acquaintances and then said she wouldn't be able to bring no value to your life. What did you mean by that? I didn't say that. Big man thing, correct me then. <laughs> I said um, she doesn't physically in this moment bring value to my life, which is what you need to be my friend. As I said, the word friend brings, like, it holds weight. Friend is a, a word thrown around, but if you're someone's friend that holds weight, that means you're willing to do certain stuff. I mean, she claimed she was ready to die for me, so uh, I, I, I thought that was cat, but if she's on that, maybe we can run this back, because if a thing's re ready to die for me, you know, it's all right. What did you make of him choosing acquaintances? I think that was just him trying to be smarter than needs be for the show. The option was either friends or lovers. You could have actually just picked friends. We went with acquaintances because he wanted to have this really smart remark about how I need to add value to his life. When in reality, I already did. He got to meet me, that's the value I added, so. What's your most embarrassing date? I went on a date with this guy. And like, we went bowling and he tried to chuck me into the bowling alley. Like, on the lane. What? <laughs> Did you <laughs> consent of that? Like, was it? I did not consent. And he just ran in and grabbed you. Why is that? What you? Um, was... because he was scared that I was gonna win, so he tried to dash huh? me into the pit. Or was you like stunning him? So he's like, oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>